So moving on to the show, I want to quickly talk about this and actually give my thoughts and um, send my thoughts and prayers to anybody connected to it who was affected by it. And I'm sure most of you are aware the absolute tragedy that happened in South Korea um, just the other day. Absolutely horrific. This is courtesy of CNBC. It's a South Korea mourns, uh, wants answers after Halloween crush kills 153 people. I think last time I checked, it was at 149. So I'm guessing a lot of the people that were in hospital, um, you know, in really in a really bad way, unfortunately, didn't survive. Crazy. Let's continue here. It says shocked family members collected bodies um, and parents searched for children and a country saw answers on Sunday after at least 153 people were crushed to death when a crowd in a South Korean surged in an alleyway during a Halloween festivities. President Yoon Suk Yeol declared a period of national mourning and designated Seoul's popular Itaewon, how you pronounce that? Itaewon district as a disaster zone after the Sunday night disaster. This news comes like a bolt from the blue sky, said a father who burst into tears as he collected his daughter's body from the morgue in the national capital, Platy Hill. A huge crowd celebrating in Atawan surged um, into an alley, killing at least 153 people, most of them in their early 20s, emergency officials said, adding the death toll could rise. The party is still, the party is, sorry, some still in their 20s, um, in their teens, sorry, many in Hollywood costumes were ready to enjoy the bars, nightclubs and restaurants where the revelry routinely spills into the narrow and often steep side streets. Instead, the street became filled with people crying for help with emergency workers that desperately sought to free trapped bodies and perform CPR on people splayed across the debris littered grounds and that essentially was where they all crushed where we all crushed to death if you're not watching this it's basically a really narrow alleyway that's kind of steep but not crazy steep it's an alleyway you'd find in any other kind of you know metropolitan city there's always kind of one of these little spots that you basically find maybe in some Mediterranean countries also and the really sad thing about it is that something I wouldn't recommend you doing is if you watch the actual videos um, from the actual crush itself, it looks pretty tame, especially in the beginning. It kind of reminds me slightly of what happened at the at the Astro World Festival, where essentially it kind of looked like nothing. But if you zoomed in closer and started to look at the faces, you could actually spot some of the people who eventually, who actually passed away in there. You actually see that kind of glazed look over their face. And I think I've watched too many videos of people passing away in those kind of circumstances, especially over during COVID, especially with some of the rappers and stuff. You get to kind of see what it kind of looks like when somebody, you know, his life is being essentially drained from their face it's absolutely tragic just watching real time it really 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 is man i don't even know how people especially family members could deal with seeing their loved ones you know go in such a manner man it's absolutely heinous to watch in real time i'm not going to lie let me just quickly move this camera a little bit so it's not looking too strange but yeah so you see them basically grasping for air, absolutely, you know, scared, witless and stuff, which is completely understandable. And everybody around them feeling completely helpless. That's the thing that's absolutely scary about it. Like they're breaching out for help. They're crying for help. Some of them are moaning and groaning. Some people are climbing the walls and stuff. I saw some guy was able to escape by climbing the wall. He probably had to step on some people in order to survive. It's just horrendous to see in real time. Absolutely horrendous. Um, and it happened so quickly. Do you know what I mean? So many people's lives just gone in an instant. And I think part of the kind of COVID legacy, I think, has been this detachment we have with like death tolls. I remember when I saw the original number, it didn't really hit home with me until I watched the video. Then you could actually see how many people were in that crowd. Um, and even then, you know, there were still many people that eventually survived. So kind of odd, like similar, like the flipping Astro World tragedy, where essentially, even though a lot of people died, I think Astro World was like 10 it feels like it should have been more considering how the crowd was so it was actually a fortunate thing like god you know thank god no more, more people didn't pass away and the same thing happened with this tragedy in south korea you look at the crowd of people in there so jumpy so jam-packed for sure it's more people should have probably died and they didn't luckily um but i can't imagine what it's like for a parent having to flip and get that call your kid went out for a party you keep had to go hang out with some friends and it looks like you know that place where they were in korea yes people were going to bars and stuff but it looked like some people were just out in the streets um stunting and looking cool i think i saw a video of one guy who was like a live streamer um who kind of streams you know the whole day um out and about and he was streaming himself in a crowd and he didn't think it was that big of an issue then his face started to change when he started to realize oh no this is actually crushing me so you can only imagine the amount of people who were just out just to kind of show face and be seen so they weren't all going to bars they all just 
just some of them were just loitering. So not lo- just hanging around basically. Yeah. And if I read correctly, that particular region or that particular district in South Korea is where all the bars and clubs are and restaurants and whatnot. And I guess in that part of Southeast Asia, they were pretty strict with COVID regulations. So the, you know, the, 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 re- the restrictions of like bars and nightlife and whatnot have only recently been relaxed like super in the way that everyone could just go out and have fun. So this was the first time bars and clubs were basically looking forward to basically recouping or making back or trying to get back on their feet pertaining to how long they've been out with COVID and whatnot. So you can just imagine how many people were out. You know, the bars and pubs are looking up for are looking forward to welcoming the punters. The punters are looking forward to going to places where they weren't able to go prior. <sighs> Just absolutely horrendous. It continues, says Choi Song Byum, head of the Yus Yong San fire station, told a briefing at the scene that 82 people were injured, 19 of them seriously. The death include 22 foreigners, he said. Families and friends desperately saw word of loved ones at the community centre turn into facilities of missing people. I'd imagine South Korea, is, especially now with the popularity of K-pop and the popularity of the country overall, I'd imagine there'd be a lot of foreigners there, especially from the UK. So I can't imagine how horrifying and scary it is to try to figure out if one of your family members is actually over there and was, you know, included in this flipping tragedy. I hope not for whoever's sake is listening, but God almighty, man. Um, at least 90% of the victims had been identified as by midday with delays affecting some foreign nationals and teenagers who did not yet have identification cards. Makeshift memorials began appearing near the site with onlookers believe leaving flowers and notes. President Yoon expressed condolences to the victim and his wishes to the speedy recovery of many injured in one of South Korea's worst disasters and the world's worst stampede in decades. This is truly tragic, he said in a statement. A tragedy disaster that should not have happened and in a place of a heart, in the place in the heart of Seoul last night so yeah man thoughts and feelings of everybody out there who's kind of suffered from this man's absolutely tragic news and I can't imagine what people over there are going through but I just thought I'd just kind of highlight that before we continued on with the rest of the conversation we're going to